most perfectly formed male specimens in the entire human race, from a muscular development standpoint. This is Bob Beatty, and today I'll be reporting on this year's Mr. Olympia contest from Columbus, Ohio. The most famous bodybuilder of the past decade, Arnold Schwarzenegger, has now retired from bodybuilding competition, although he's still very much in evidence, displaying the charm and charisma of a champion and the sex appeal which always accompanies a true winner. Over the years, we've discovered that bodybuilding contests are more than just male beauty pageants. It's a real competition, as demanding both mentally and physically as any in the wide world of sport. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about weight training for the middle-aged man, 50 to 60, or the middle-aged woman that wants to get back in shape? Let, let's see what you look like. Now look at this guy here. He's on top. Uh, do, right. do a pose. Come on. Do a pose. Don't look at the camera. Good. Hey. Hey, boy. Okay. Yeah, Anything else? Um, yeah. I'm a dance major here at Ohio State, and I was wondering if you think that, like, the bodybuilding I do would hurt my dancing? No. I've been doing it for quite a while now, and sometimes I feel like it stiffens me up. The combination of weight training and stretching movements is the best thing you can do. If it would make you stiff, I'm sure that the uh, shot put us hammers. Now, what in the world is the ex-king of bodybuilders, Arnold Schwarzenegger, doing conducting a clinic on the 50-yard line at Ohio State University's football stadium? Well, if you don't know Arnold, he's a 29-year-old Austrian, has won the amateur title of Mr. Universe five times, plus the top professional title of Mr. Olympia six times, all in consecutive years. No one else in recent history has dominated an individual sport so completely. Arnold retired two years ago in South Africa after winning his final Mr. Olympia title. Now he's a film actor, author, lecturer, and producer of the Mr. Olympia contest, being held this year in Columbus, Ohio. Are those lights already set up? No, these lights are set up for the three bedrooms. Arnold's the first to admit a relationship between bodybuilding competition and show business. It's a combination of physical perfection, style, and grace of movement, and mental communication with spectators and judges alike. Just straight oh, there's one lamp for each guy yeah, coming down, that's right? right? And then Roger suggested the following nights. We give away the three $500 prizes. This year's Mr. Olympia title will be decided in front of a capacity house in the 4,000-seat Veterans Memorial Auditorium in Columbus. Is that the mob jump up on stage? In the beginning, nobody yeah. knows who's the third, fourth, or fifth. <laughs> <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? Throw them off. That's why, uh, that's why you hit the MC this year, because you're oh, the strong fellow who's going to do all the pushing. See, Arnold, like all okay. producers, must always find time to listen to anyone with a question. For instance, someone who thinks that he can become a future okay, Mr. Olympia. In the morning, 10, 10, 30, whatever, you take a look at me, if I'm not qualified to enter, rub me off. No, How's but we, we, have to put you, we have to put you in a list today because we're putting the program together today. So I think what is the best thing for us to do is just take your shirt off, hit one pose for me, I can give you the okay if you can compete, the whole thing takes one minute. Just the shirt, take the shirt off. Just need one, one quick shot. Good. Hit the last spread. Okay. In the back. Okay. But I know you train Sergio Oliva and the whole thing, okay? You explained to me the whole thing, but... Obviously, this young man has the enthusiasm and desire, and Arnold is encouraging, but uh, somewhat non-committal. Well, yeah, but, you know, each time you can be in a different shape, and, and, uh, and I mean, you can be in one year, you can be in top shape, the next year you can be in bad shape, you know? I mean, it's, uh, it's it just is one of those things, so that's why I wanted to check how, what kind of a condition you're in. The sport, if you will, of bodybuilding, has gained tremendous popularity on a worldwide basis over the past few years. And ABC's Bob Bietti discussed this phenomenon with Arnold. How about, uh, how about women? I think that's always comes up. Are women turned on by bodybuilders? Now, I never had problems with women, you know, regardless if I weigh 260 or weigh 220 now. 
but I think as a channel I could see that, uh, that in the last few years there are more and more women getting you know, uh, interested in muscular physics and I think it is also due to women's liberation. It is now the woman's job to look now at the man's body and say I want him to look good too, not just uh, always have the man look at us and make us feel guilty if we don't look good, you know. Okay, we always show men as bodybuilders. Are women bodybuilders also? Sure, but they are not interested in gaining muscle size. The way men do, you know, the woman wants to get a nice, shapely, and sexy body. 60% of all the gym members in America are women. Uh, the gym business is booming in America. What do you have to do to produce a Mr. Olympia contest? Well, you know, it takes, uh, it takes a whole year to produce a major event like that because it is the top event, it's the Mr. Olympia contest. And I'm a strong believer that bodybuilding is not only a sport, but it's show business, you know, and so we have the best bodybuilders in the world here. We have the best stage crew here putting a really great show together. It's a lot of effort that goes into promoting it. And I always promise myself that after I'm through with competition, I'm going to produce it and I'm going to produce it ten times better than everybody else produced it. week long here in Columbus, Ohio, competitors for this year's Mr. Olympia title have been toning up their bodies in local gymnasiums. What will the judges be looking for? Well, here's a quick instructional course offered by Mr. Oscar State, an official of the International Bodybuilding Federation. Competition. Right, Makawi will take the double biceps from the front first. Here, of course, we're not only looking at the biceps muscles, but the way he controls the front trunk muscles, in particular the ability to contract the abdominals from the front. Okay, thank you. Now the latch spread. Now here we are examining the back muscles as they appear from the front because in this position they should give the V shape which bodybuilders try to get on the trunk. Right side chest. Now here again we're looking at the biceps and the arm muscles from the side to get a silhouette effect of them and also at the chest in particular again the pectorals are seen from the side. Now we have two poses from the back double biceps from the back and here not only the biceps but the whole of the shoulder structure and the one leg back gives us a look at his calf muscles too which are also important right now the lat spread now here you see what we mean by the v-shape right turn again and let's have the triceps pose the triceps the big three-headed muscle at the rear of the arm so that all major muscle parts are seen by the judges in the compulsory poses. Thank you, Michael Thank you. The scene now shifts to the huge Veterans Memorial Auditorium, where pre-judging on the event took place earlier. Seven judges studied the contours and muscle development of the contestants. Symmetry and proportion are the key to success in bodybuilding, and these men have lifted weights year after year after year to attain the proper proportion. One of the top favorites for this year's championship is Frank Zane. Five foot nine, 35 years old, 199 pounds. A math teacher from California. He's got tough competition from Robbie Robinson. Five seven, 31 years old, over 200 pounds. And a former Mr. Universe and Mr. America. Robbie's a commercial artist from California. A third leading contender is veteran Ed Corney, 43 years old, 5'7", 172 pounds. Another former Mr. Universe and also a Californian. After pre-judging is completed, six finalists are selected. And here they are. Take a good look as they pose individually for the judges. First on the stage, stepping out into the spotlight is Ed Corney. Boyer Co. 5'8". 200 pounds, 31 years old, a food supplier from New Orleans. This is Ken Waller, six feet tall, 235 pounds, a former Mr. Universe, and one of the better known bodybuilders. And now, Dennis Tenorino, six feet tall, 216 pounds, a former runner-up to Arnold Schwarzenegger for the Mr. Universe title. Another look at Robbie Robinson. Finally, once again, Frank Zane. And 
so the stage is set for the final pose off. Hello, I'm Bob Biatti, and we're in Columbus, Ohio, for the Mr. Olympia contest. 4,000 people here, a complete sellout here at Veterans Memorial Auditorium. As a matter of fact, to let you know exactly how avid bodybuilding fans are, this has been sold out for over a month and a half. Yes, I like the muscles, but more I respect the work that it takes to get the muscles. Once in a while, I go down to the gym with, with him, but most I just watch him. Well, I'm really interested in art, and I've always been very interested in Greek sculpture. Well, you don't look much like a bodybuilder to me, or have you already started? No, a bit. Do you like the bodybuilding? Yeah, it's okay. Good relaxation, get your mind off things. I just really like to watch them. The bigger, the better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, how about the big muscles? Do you like those, too? Of course I do. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Here in Columbus, Ohio, it's time to begin the final pose down for the title of this year's Mr. Olympia. The moment the audience has been waiting for. Most of the spectators are bodybuilding enthusiasts. by the judges. Here's Frank Zane. Next to him, Ed Corney. As the others step out on the stage, here to share the commentary with me is the king of bodybuilders himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I know exactly the feeling. It's unbelievable. Your, your heart is pounding like crazy. You know, you hope you're in a finalist and all that stuff. So it's really, that is the most important time, especially with the new ruling of the IFBB, where the final judging will be in front of the audience right now. That will uh, all going to be decided now. That's right. You just know who got in the top three of each weight class. Okay, now we have six finalists, and these really are now the best body in the world. They're the best in the world. Let's watch this for a moment now. This is exciting. Okay, now you see now, Frank Zane, of course, is an own for symmetry, okay? And he's really playing with that because he, he is the most symmetrical bodybuilder that we have right now. So that's bulk versus symmetry. Exactly. The next one is Ed Corny, who is also known for all those two proportions and symmetry and also known very much for his posing. He moves like a ballet dancer and it's just fantastic. He seems to have posing almost down to a tremendous size. Yes. Then the next one is Boyako next to him. Now, Boyako is Boyako for a long time. As I look at his back now, it's just fantastic. Let's go to the next guy. He's, uh, he's uh, Robbie Robinson. Now, he's, he's a newcomer. Up. Yes. He's, he's a, a new professional. He's a new one. Kenneth Finarino, which is a newcomer. He's known for his tremendous legs, his good posing, and again, good symmetry, and weighs around 225 pounds. So he's a big guy, you know? And then the last one is Ken Waller, who is, of uh, course, known as being the biggest guy of all of them, with a tremendous leg development. Doesn't have the great presentation as the other ones have, and that's why he gets a lot of booing, actually. But let's see what's happening. Right now, it's freestyle posing. Now they're switching around just to make sure that one doesn't have a light advantage. Each one is trying to put the best poses in. Does it bother them getting up and posing in front of so many people, or is this something they really look forward to? You look forward to. A lot of guys get embarrassed in the beginning and lower categories, you know, like Mr. California or so, but when you get to the Mr. Olympia, you train for 10 or 15 years, and you're happy to go out there and show what you have that, that you have produced from 10 or 10 or 15 years. to move very gracefully to just show to the judges that he is the king and you know he's been promoting himself as the king all along this year okay you see Quan is very smart he's doing a lot of kneeling poses right now because he knows he's a short guy and he has to compete against guys who are 50 pounds heavier it's now it's a lot of endurance work it's like a battle it's like this is the fight of you know yeah, who is going to win this will take a lot out of it no, it's unbelievable i mean i know from my experience that i was so wiped out for two or three days it's like no. after a big fight in boxing you know The state has asked them already three, four times to get off the stage, and they're not leaving the stage. They want to make sure that they are the winners. The guys don't give up. Everybody thinks whoever hits the last pose uh, is going to be the one that is noticed the most and is going to be the winner. So they're, they're not going to give up. I mean, there's the, the, the okay. fantastic what's going on there. It's unbelievable. 
maneuver. If you want to come back stage, Ben, if you want to come back stage, come quickly. We got the curtain down. Okay. Okay, we have to let the curtain down. Yeah. Let the curtain down. And so the judging is over amid near pandemonium here at the Mr. Olympia contest. And we'll be back for the final decision in just a moment. The judges have totaled up the mocks and we're just moments away from the announcement of the winners. I don't know how do you feel about the tension. I'm really excited. I mean, I have, because I'm training every day with some of the guys. So I'm really so curious what's going to happen. Here comes the announcement. Yes, sir. Ken Waller. Dennis Tenorino. Robbie Robinson. Boya Cole. Ed Corney. Or Frank Zane. Frank Zane! Frank Zane, I was playing with him. I was playing with him. This is fantastic. I tell you, that is a proof again that size doesn't mean everything in bodybuilding. That the symmetry is very important to your presentation of the posing routine that your body is put together perfectly and i'm very excited that frank zane won here right now for five years in a row he was beaten and last year of course he was beaten by franco by one point only and this time he finally made it i mean that is fantastic in second place that's head corny and in third place is going to be robbie robinson robbie being congratulated by runner-up head corny and here the new mr olympia Congratulations to you. Fantastic. Great going. We've watched you in a lot of these, and uh, this is the moment you've been waiting for. Oh, yeah. After all these years, it's really great to win what I've been after for so long. How many years have you been training for this? Well, I've been training 21 years. For this show, I've been training since, oh, 1972 was the first year I entered it. And you had a lot of fellows that were a lot bigger. Tough competition out there. Yeah. I don't know, what do you think? I think I'm very happy about the results because I told you it's not the size that counts, it's the proportion and the symmetry. I always was, I had this opinion, he was the best poser today, he had the best presentation, and he promoted himself all the way as being the winner this year, and he is the winner. He was confident he came here to win. He's also a fine gentleman. I've had the privilege of knowing him for about seven years. Arnold, congratulations right. for you. It was a great competition. Thank and from Columbus, Ohio, that's it for the Mr. Olympia contest.